Hey guys, my name is Lucas and welcome back to my studio. Today I will show you in five steps how you can make a symbol like this. It's fairly easy. So maybe you are creating a track where you have a build up but you only need a symbol now and you want to create one. I will recommend you go to another project file which is empty and then you need to set the BPM to the same as your current project file. So when you export your file as an audio file then it is already ready to go. But let's get into it. So the first thing that you want to do is to find a specific sound and determine the length of our symbol. So for this one I will be using this hi-hat and I'll just drag it into my arranger. And I want my symbol to be four bars long, so I will mark that out. So the next thing that we want to do is to add reverb and compression. So let's start by adding some reverb. And we want a long reverb with high frequencies, just like this. And we also need to lower our volume of the dry element because we need it to be almost invisible. So now that we have added reverb, we want to add compression. And with compression, we want to look at the gain knob at the first, and secondly, we want to look at the ratio and the threshold. But let's take a look at the gain button. So as you can hear, the symbol quickly fades out when we play it. We want to use the gain button to optimize the volume in the end, so let's do that. But what happens now is that the intro of the symbol is very very loud, listen. And we want to adjust that with the ratio 10 to 1 and the threshold. We will kind of experiment with the threshold. There we go. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is volume automation. And we can do this by go to the balance and right click, create automation clip. And if you're using another music program, you just need to figure out how to do it in your music program and follow these steps. So what we want to do is lower the volume all the way to zero decibel and let's just listen. Just like that. So now I want to add an equalizer to really make this symbol stand out. So let's do that quickly. And we want to high pass it. And we also want a low pass. And as you can hear, because of the compression and the EQ, we have a high attack again. By going to the reverb, we can just decrease the dry volume and we are back on track. So the next thing that you want to do is actually just to export the audio to a folder. Let's call this symbol one or just symbol two. And now we want to go to that folder and find the symbol. So my symbol is in this folder and I'll just drag it into my playlist just like this and listen. We can also clone this and reverse it. And now we have a reversed effect. So there you go guys. So this is really just how you do it. But uh, I will say thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you like what you have seen because I will make more tutorials just like this. 
comment if you have any questions or suggestions and I will try to answer the questions. And I will see you in another video. Goodbye.